Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. So in this video here, we're going to be doing another path of 7.4.3. And the main note to remember on this path is this uh, Civil War Zone, I think it's called. Where basically what happens is every time you hit them, they gain a uh, armor up buff. And whenever they use a special attack, they convert all them armor up buffs into fury buffs for so many seconds. So plan of action here, is, especially for this first fight, is Archangel on this Symbiote Spine Man. Where possible, I want to just get my Neurotoxins as quick as I can. And I also want to, once he gets far power like this, I'm just going to turtle up, uh, try and re-parry a few times, and just try and stop him from throwing the special one. Just so I don't have to worry about that, because Dex is a lot worse than the special two. And I look at how much damage it is, and I just decide to go for it anyway. But as you can see now, we have the seven Neurotoxins, so we couldn't get any Furies from that special, which is why it hit so little. And Spider-Man's dead. So Archangel absolutely killed that fight. 24 hits, easy as you like. The next one uh, for this is Magneto. So the main attackers for this path is... Archangel, Magneto, Apocalypse. I only use Apocalypse for one fight. Magneto for three of them and Archangel for two, I think. So all this is going to be is the same as pretty much every other Magneto fight, especially in story content. Is parry heavy, get the prowesses, get a special free, and then by the time the special freeze hit, or by the time the shrapnel bleeds and all the bleeds are finished after the special free, the opponent's going to be dead. So here, you see, I, can, I take a nice little combo of Fulcher, which was nice. Um, and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just let the rest of this uh, this fight play out. So then we're coming to this Corvus. That was the um, that was the end of one of my days. I just moved it when I got the energy and then waited till the next morning to be able to do this. And I decided to use Apocalypse just because of the uh, mutant boost from the mutant ascendancy node. So all mutants get the 40% extra uh, damage. Plus if they're, um, they're the class disadvantage, they also gain a plus attack bonus anyway because of the superiority node. So the plan of this fight is to just kind of use Apocalypse. Uh, just for a bit of fun. I, I do like using Apocalypse, as you can tell. And we're going through this fight. I don't mind either of Corvus' specials. They're, they're both pretty easy, so I don't mind the fact that he's going to get a lot of Furies. You see there, the 50 Furies kick in. And even with a parry, it was only 500, so it's not too bad. And now if I want to just bait special ones for the rest of the fight, then it's pretty easy. Like if you're far enough away, you can do the dashback trick. If you're relatively close, you can just dex it twice anyway. It's up to you what your comfort is and how, um, how like, confident you're feeling. So there, just throw the heavy attack, refresh the debuffs instantly into a special one to give them all the perfect time. And now it's just a matter of just fighting this Corvus, throwing special ones whenever I get them, and refreshing the debuffs whenever they need refreshing. So then we have uh, Green Goblin. Again, you could have used Magneto on that Corvus if you wanted. I just didn't want to. I just thought I'd have a bit of fun with Apocalypse as I brought them in. 
Again, Magneto, parry heavy all the way up to your special three, gain around 40 prowess, and then throw your special three. And pretty much that's fight over. You don't really need to do anything else or worry about anything else at that point. You just obviously don't take any hits from Green Goblin. And yeah, that was basically this fight. Next up, we have this Venom. So, if I wanted, I could have used uh, the Horseman ability, put that on Archangel, and just made this fight even quicker. But decided to just use Archangel on his own to show that you don't need um, Apocalypse or any other people around them for this path. And the same as with the Spider-Man. Apart from, I'd rather him get and throw his special ones, if he could, than throw his special twos. So that there was perfect. That's exactly what I needed. We've got a few neurotoxins on now. And I just need a few more because my Archangels are pretty low sig. So it's, it's four neurotoxins for me to be able to completely shut off an opponent. Whereas on my five star, it would only be three. Uh, here, he's just, as you can see, he's not really bothered about throwing a special one. So I just decided to push him to special two and I'll just take it on the block. That's fine. I'd just rather keep these neurotoxins up so there was less chance of gaining a crazy amount of furies. And then I just decided to use actual normal combos just to kind of finish this fight off because I just thought that would be quicker. And there we go, 40 hits, Venom's dead. So there's only one fight left on this path now. It's a pretty quick path. Um, a couple of these paths have been quite quick actually, 7.4.3. And again, it's just going to be a Magneto, parry heavy, up to special three, throw the special three, fight's good, job's good, path's good. And then claim your units for, uh, for your troubles on your way, for your 90 units for the completion of the path. And then it's on to uh, the boss island.